I didn't have any games to play on my Xbox. So about a week ago, they told me to talk to this kid that sold video games at our school. He showed me a blank disc. When I asked him where he got it from, he said that all of his games were pirated and that he found it on this website that didn't have a name, but it was supposed to be really cool. When I put it in my console, it just started the game straight away. A text box showed up and read, Welcome. You can do anything in this game that is physically possible, but don't make bad decisions. Nothing else. No controls, no instructions, no quests, nothing. It just left a black screen. I pulled the disc out of my Xbox and the next day I went to the school so I could give that kid his shitty game back. When I told him that I wanted my money back, he told me that I had to fiddle with the controller a bit and a map should appear. And right before I left, I heard him whisper to himself, Stupid kid. But I ignored him. As soon as I got back home, I pulled out the disc from my bag and put it back into my console. The screen was still black, so I started to push random buttons. And then the map showed up. You could put your character anywhere in the world. I chose Hawaii as my first location. I noticed a countdown timer. It started off with 12 hours and it kept going down. But only when I was playing. I didn't know what was going to happen once it reached zero. But in the meantime, I started playing the game. The graphics were so incredible. It looked so real. But I didn't really know what to do. The character was really odd, and you couldn't see his face because of his massive hoodie, all dressed in black. He walked very slowly, but once he started the run, nothing could stop him. He seemed very strong as well. I didn't know what to do for a while. I just roamed around Hawaii for about 15 minutes and then I found out some more controls. I could punch, kick, lift things up, and even go in private houses. I saw that I could either help people, like trying to help someone that's getting mugged, or hurt people. The gore was so realistic when you wanted to hurt someone. Breaking the victim's skull or cutting an arm off with a knife? That I preferred to help people instead, but I still kept on killing sometimes. The next day, I noticed a few more details. For example, when I did something bad, my character would nod his head whispering something that I couldn't quite understand. But when I did something good, you could hear laughter. There was also a karma bar that went up for good things and down for bad things. I always tried to keep it even, but it was easier to be bad than good. The next few days, I felt as if someone was looking at me when I played, so I started to close the curtains every time I turned the Xbox on. And now, the character started to talk louder, and I could barely hear what he said when he whispered. Something like, judge or justice. It still wasn't very clear. But whatever he was saying, it was very odd. Yesterday, the countdown reached zero. When it did, it launched a horrible screech. I had to cover my ears and duck on the ground. It didn't last long, but it was absurdly loud. I have no idea how my parents didn't hear it. When I looked up to the TV screen, I saw the screen went black with white texting saying, Judgment Day. I got closer to the screen and then it just switched off. I could see in the black reflection someone standing behind me. I was too scared to turn around or scream. He got closer. Tears were running down my face as he started to gently caress the top of my head. I was paralyzed. My blood froze. My heart was beating so fast. As his mouth got closer to my ear, he said, You've been very bad, you know, don't you? I just responded with a silent nod, hoping he wouldn't try to squeeze my head with his massive hand. 
His palm was as big as the top of my head. His fingers could easily reach my lip. And as his other hand wrapped around my neck, he said, But I can see a bit of good in you. His voice was deep and calm, but not threatening. Just a little bit, well, scary. His hand started to squeeze harder as he started to choke me. He continued, I will give you another chance. I will keep my eye on you. Even when you least expect it. And I'll be judging you. I was running out of breath. I felt like a zebra in a lion's mouth. Not trying to fight or escape because its bite is too strong waiting for my fate. He pushed me against the floor as he lunged out of my bedroom window, breaking the glass. My parents don't believe me. Even after they saw the injuries on my body. But the worst part is that the judge left me a note saying that I had to give the video game to the next victim. If anyone is listening, please take it away from me.